Welcome to the heart of Tokyo for this SciTech special report. We have unique access to some of the Japanese companies that are going to be unveiling their new innovations at the CBIT Tech Summit in Hanover next week. So let's go and see what's new. We begin in a hub for startup companies creating products destined for the Internet of Things. Among them is Cerevo, a firm with a wide range of internet connected devices, including a lamp controlled by voice command and virtual reality shoes. Turn on. The shoes. The shoes are the world's first VR virtual reality shoes with many different types of sensors and feedback built in. The motor is inside the shoe. You put the shoes on and walk around the VR world, and you can feel the VR world surface. Oh, here's a stone, here's some wood, here's the snow. So it goes, something like that. A total of 118 Japanese companies are making their way to Hanover for the CBIT conference. Many of them will be presenting products which are already on the market here in Japan to making their European debut. One of those products is a machine from Epson which can take used paper and recycle it into new blank paper in a matter of minutes with no added water. Let me tell you about the paper lab. Here is some paper that's been used in the office and has confidential information on it. We put it in the machine and then it's transformed into this fiber using our technology. And here our machine is working without water and then the the fibers are bonded and molded before turning into the final product, which is paper like this. Epson is marketing the paper lab as a useful device for companies that want to permanently erase old documents that bear company secrets. Today, our clients pay a lot to treat confidential information in order to erase it. While with our machine, the client can erase everything straight away on site. The Japanese will be at CBIT to showcase their know-how and promote a new concept from the government called Society 5.0, a vision of an advanced digital world. Hitachi boss Toshiaka Higashihara, who represents Japanese IT and electronics industries, explains their goals. Japan has a strength in the physical technology field, such as materials, nanotechnology and sensors. Merging these technologies together, we would like to realize Society 5.0 rapidly and in so doing help resolve the world's social issues. I hope we can collaborate with people all over the world and create a chance for new innovation. Another product making its debut at CBIT is a tracking system from Hitachi. The concept is to gather anonymous data on where people walk, in what direction and how quickly to help better manage crowds in public spaces. It's a system that uses lasers to carry out monitoring of the movement of people and objects without them having to wear any particular sensor. Using the results of this monitoring, you can carry out research on how people move around. For example, these red points show two people, and this point is me, and I move back. You can monitor my tracks, my speed of movement, and generate data. While many of the new products will sell to corporate and government clients, other innovations are aimed squarely at tech-hungry consumers. It's a, it's a home robot with a, with a projector. He can, walk he can walk around your home, your home by, himself. by himself. So he'll be running so out from the charging station to your bedroom automatically every morning at 7 o'clock. And you can hear the beautiful music. And also, and also once, you're up, once you're going to wake up, it will show you automatically the traffic conditions on your bedroom ceiling. That's the future of our product. That's all we got time for in this program, but I'll be back with all kinds of Japanese innovations from the CBIT Tech Summit in Hanover next week on Euronews and Euronews.com.